The mother will fan set off on their trans-European expedition with the boots of the coaches crammed with toys and food for orphanages in Katowice. 98 supporters boarded the buses for the Fur Park Club's first ever European adventure, hoping at the end of the long and winding road to taste more cup glory and extend the international hand of friendship. Well, originally we had uh, planned to give a donation to one orphanage in Katowice, but uh, due to the generosity of companies and individuals, we decided to give it to three orphanages which are uh, based in Katowice. So we're meeting the representatives of them on Thursday morning to donate the goods to them. Yeah, it's great. You know, that's the excitement that's been in the area uh, with the European situation. So it's great for people to make the effort that they're going to do to go over there and hopefully we can produce the goods on the field. The route is to Dover, uh, from Dover to Cali. Cali to Dresden in East Germany, where we're staying the night. On Wednesday, we go into Katowice. We stay the evening in Katowice. We come back from Katowice to a place called Castles in West Germany and we're there on the Friday, sorry the Thursday and we move into Cali again on the Friday and back here for the Dunfermline game on Saturday. And how on earth are they going to while away all that road and all those miles? With a laugh and a song. Motherwell were left hanging around Glasgow airport indefinitely because of the non-arrival of their Polish aircraft for the flight to Katowice. They checked in at 8.15 this morning but are still hanging on with concern now for UEFA regulations which say they have to be in the country of their tie the evening before kickoff. Well that's the first sign is when you know you've got a delay you know that you're in uh, Europe but as I say it is exciting now and it's just a matter of getting on with the job you know. What do you know about Katowice your opponents Tommy? Well we've had them watch twice they are a very good team they've got uh, three current international players in their team and they've also got a Russian striker. So they're a very good team and they've got uh, very fine players in uh, important positions.